Now, Georgia's governor standing firm against any mask mandate, even as the CDC continues to change their guidance this week. The CDC is now recommending you wear a mask in school and in areas known to have increases in the number of COVID cases, even if you're fully vaccinated. The shift has left Metro school districts weighing whether to reverse their policies and require masks with the start of the year just a couple of days away. And Brittany Klein Peter is helping us make sense of all of it. It is a complicated mess right now. Yeah, that's correct. There's no getting around it. The data just shows cases are on the rise here in the metro area as the Delta variant continues to spread. And while we're seeing hotspots emerge, the governor says that he has no intention of requiring masks statewide. The governor just tweeting that Georgia will not go into a lockdown or impose a mask mandate. The post coming just one day after the CDC changed its mask recommendations. The CDC now urging all students and school staff to wear masks indoors regardless of vaccination status. The agency also adding masks should be worn in areas with high transmission rates. The World Health Organization defines this as anything above 5%. The viral load of this variant is more than 1,000 times our previous variants. And just that word variant is a big key, a big clue to uh, what we need to be concerned about. We're no longer using the word mutation. We're talking about variants. Variants are actually clusters of mutations. As of yesterday, 10 of the 11 surrounding Atlanta counties would be considered to have a high rate under whose definition. Douglas County holds the highest positivity rate of 12.5 percent and Clayton County not far behind with 10.8 percent. The only metro county showing a positivity rate under 5 percent is Fayette. With Metro Atlanta schools preparing to head back soon, Cobb County, Fulton County, Cherokee County, Henry County, Forsyth County, and Marietta City and Beaufort City schools have all said masks would remain optional. The six other districts seen here are requiring them, and Fayette County remains undecided. Meanwhile, the governor's tweets did not directly address the district's stances. Instead, he focused on encouraging Georgians who aren't vaccinated to get their shots, saying it's the best defense against the virus. The CDC says that its new guidelines are just a temporary measure and they're the only way to have a substantial impact on the Delta variant, which now accounts for more than 83% of new cases. Tonight, though, more than half of the people eligible for the vaccine in Georgia still haven't gotten a single shot.